Hello all. Uh, this video I'm talking about uh, how I install uh, a Linux operating system alongside a Windows operating system. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an HD camera, or I would do an actual um, live install, you know, of the screen of my computer. Uh, so, second best uh, is to use VirtualBox. So, uh, let's get started with that. Okay, so here we are, uh, Windows 7 64-bit. Um, in this example, and uh, what I've done is I've uh, added an additional hard drive because that's how I do have mine set up. So you right click on computer in the start uh, panel and click manage and uh, give it some time to respond. Okay, you go to uh, storage, disk management, and as you can see here, I have. Uh, this is the first one is disk zero is uh, Windows 7 and this one here is 25 gigs of un unallocated space so um, if this had something else on it and you've removed all the data or whatever you need you can just right click and you delete whatever's on there um, that option is not there because be because uh, there isn't anything on there so I'm going to shut down um, Windows, and uh, we have the VirtualBox Manager open. So this would be sort of like going into your uh, BIOS. You go to Settings, and we're going to um, add the Ubuntu Ubuntu uh, installation. So just uh, choose Virtual Drive, and there's Ubuntu click open and sorry I didn't mean uh, going into your uh, BIOS I just meant to uh, for settings sorry uh, so now we press start and what should happen is it should boot from the Ubuntu live disk so we press start and okay we can see that it's this is a definitely Ubuntu um, live CD starting up okay when I, you get to the uh, when it logs in I just went straight to the install so you press continue and the important part here is uh, I go to something else and again press continue and for under device for bootloader installation I choose this drop down list and I go to SDB okay so Grub will be on uh, the second hard drive that I have. So under free space, we're going to add uh, three partitions. So we'll just click the plus sign under free space. And uh, I'm going to give it 10 gigabytes. Usually I give it 20. Uh, but in virtual machine, I'll just give it uh, 10. And the mount point is this here, just the first one. And press OK. Uh, again, back to free space, add, uh, it's going to be the swap area. I'm going to give it 2048, 2 gigs, and that'll be at the end of the space. Finally, the one in between, free space, click add, and same extension, file system, and it'll be dash home, slot, da, sorry, slash home, and you press OK. And we should be ready to install. So I'll be back when this is uh, finished installing. Once uh, installation is, is complete, uh, just uh, hit restart now. Uh, there's another option if you did use the live session to keep trying Ubuntu. So um, make sure your CD or your uh, USB stick is not in and just press enter. Now what's going to happen is, yeah, it's going to boot into Windows. So I powered off virtual, yeah, virtual machine, and uh, I'll show you what uh, I do. And so I, actually, it just happens to be the same thing in my uh, BIOS setup for the computers. I'll press Start, and you notice it says F12 for boot device. So you see there's two hard drives, one and two. If I press two, it's going to boot Ubuntu. 
So here we are at the Ubuntu login screen. So whatever you use for your password to set up, you just log in. And we should be in the Ubuntu desktop in a second. There it is. So there there we have it. Uh, dual booting, but not really dual booting um, Windows and Linux. In this case, Ubuntu 1304. Now if I'm going to be using uh, Linux for a while. I, I'll go into my BIOS. Everybody's BIOS is uh, different, but I set mine to boot from the uh, the hard drive that Ubuntu is installed on. Uh, in my case, it's a SDC, uh, the, her, the third uh, hard drive. But uh, yours would probably be different, and uh, probably selecting a boot device would be a different as well, a different key. It could be F2, for example. So read up on uh, what your BIOS can do on your computer, either desktop or your laptop, and how you would go about booting from a different hard drive. Remember, you need more than one hard drive for this to work. Now, other than that, uh, you should be good to go. Just remember the bootloader has got to be on the hard drive you're installing Linux on, uh, so it doesn't interfere with Windows, and Windows doesn't interfere with your Linux installation. So you can delete either one and it doesn't matter. And next video I'm going to uh, just go through a quick way of uh, reinstalling Ubuntu through the method that I use to install it uh, just in case you have to uh, something goes wrong with your system. Okay so that's it for this one and any questions feel free to add them and thank you so much for watching and bye for now.